What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys an Anger Point Primate team for Ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Primate, this Pokemon now in Scarlet and Violet can use the Evo Light, boosting its special defense and regular defense stats, making it a super bulky Pokemon. But like I said, we're using Anger Point, which is a cool ability that actually maxes out your attack set whenever you get hit by a critical hit. So we're pairing up Primate with Miascarada today, being able to go into the Steel Terror type, drop Flower Trick into our own Primate, triggering Anger Point, and then going plus six on attack. So pretty cool combo. Super excited to be showcasing this combo, and more importantly, Primate, considering I never really used it on the Ranked Ladder. So this is a first time for me. Let's talk more in depth about this Pokemon. It is a pure fighting type. Like we mentioned, we got that Steel Terror type, Evo Light, and Anger Point as its item and ability, but it's got Drain Punch, it's got Rage Fist, it's got Taunt, and it's got Protect. So it can boost up its attack stat, it can get HP recovery, it can do an insane amount of damage, and also it can Taunt support Pokemon. So it can pretty much do it all. It's got a lot of different tricks up its sleeve. So again, super excited to be using this team. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. But the rest of the squad, pretty simple, pretty standard, pretty meta. You got Miascarada, Dragonite, Archaludon, Incineroar, and Ninetales. Ninetales is going to be great for special attacking. More importantly, setting up that Aurora Veil. Incineroar, doing Incineroar things. I don't even need to explain it. Miascarada, like I said, going to be pairing up with Primate to use Flower Trick. But plus, it's a strong Pokemon on its own. Dragonite with a loaded dice, multi-scale, can use Iron Head, Scale Shot, Protect, and it also has Haze to deal with like Don. Those are teams and other Pokemon that want to boost their stats. And last but not least, Archaludon. I don't even have to talk about this Pokemon anymore. It is one of the best Pokemon in Regulation H. You guys already know what it does. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Anger Point Primate. First match coming at you guys, and should we lead the Primate and Miascarada lead? I'm kind of thinking it. We're going up against a pretty dope team. They got Greninja, they got Dragapult, Sylveon, who could be very annoying, especially up against Primate and Miascarada. They got Bastion Legion, they got Tauros, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Bull Corona. Now, you know what? I'm going to go Miascarada. I am going to go into Primate. I actually really like this, and I feel like if we can get this set up, this team could really be thriving out. But they got two Ghost types. We got Rage Fist to kind of deal with that as well. So I really do like what we got going here. Now, for our back end Pokemon, we could bring Incineroar, considering Incineroar is actually pretty solid. It's not terrible. It's pretty solid, especially with that dark typing. You got Knockoff, you got Fake Out, you got Fire Blitz. Um, they had a few different fire Pokemon. So I could end up going into like a Pokemon like Archaludon. Yeah, I think we're going to go Archaludon for sure. And then probably Incineroar. I like it. The fire type are scaring me a little bit, but like not really, just because we don't really have any water power. But we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. So we'll end up leading these two. We'll bring Archaludon and Incineroar in the back end. Look to grab ourselves our first win with Primate. Now, again, Primate, super dope Pokemon, but with the addition to Annihilate, but allows this Pokemon to use Evo Light. Really dope, awesome item. Makes Pokemon super bulky, as you guys can see with like Porygon 2 and Dusclops. Like those Pokemon are absurdly bulky whenever they're holding the EVO light and just go crazy. Same thing with Murkrow. Murkrow, I wouldn't say it's absurdly bulky, but it's bulky enough where it could take shots with the EVO light. So it's like, EVO light is a game changer of, a, of an item. And actually, I think it brings more value to Primate than it normally did have because past games it was just like, okay, it's Primate, it's not really doing anything. But nonetheless, they're gonna end up leading these two. Um, might even swap Greninja or even Terrastalize it, but I am just gonna go for a flower trick here. I might even swap Dragapult or Terrastalize that. The Sucker Punch is posing a threat, but I'm just going to go right into this. Water Terra, or not Water Terra, Steel Terra. Going to try a Drain Punch here. I'm going to Flower Trick into my own Annihilate. and see what they want to do here. Let's see what they want to do here. I'd love to get this Anger Point flowing. I got Focus Ash on my Miascarada, which is good. I'm going to Terrastalize the Primate. Get that thing going with Steel. It's a Steel Pokemon, baby. It's a Steel Pokemon. And this thing's just going to end up launching Dragon Darts, which is totally fine. I'm cool with that. is going to take a nice chunk of damage. Flower Trick's going to launch into our own Primate, doing mediocre damage. But more importantly, critical hit, guaranteed. Anger Point pops. We're now sitting plus six on attack, which is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous sight to see. Rock Slide's going to go here, and he's going to switch to Rock Typing, which we're still super effective with fighting. And who's dodging that? Miascarada? No, Miascarada didn't dodge, but still, Annihilate. Should go back up to full HP here. Almost. I mean, you're focused, Ash. 
So Sash gonna come out here. Um, I think Sucker Punch is probably gonna be our play with Miyashikawada, but we're seeing plus six. We love it. We love it. We love it. Back up the full HP. All right, so definitely want to rip a Sucker Punch here into that slot. And if I can do it, just go for a Rage Fist. Who could you potentially swap into? A Ghost type. You could swap into Basket Legion. You could swap into like, I don't know, maybe an Intimidate user, but I'm gonna go for Rage Fist here. I know it's not Stab, but still, it should be nice. But Sucker Punch gonna fire, do great damage into Dragapult. It was looking rather scary. Dragon Dart's gonna launch. And I'm gonna be able to soak this. And we'll see what Greninja wants to do. It's a rock type Pokemon right now. Greninja. Rock Slide's gonna fly here. And it's gonna do mediocre, maybe about one damage. Actually, did a lot more. You got a crit. Of course. Of course you got a crit. Thank God for no flinches, though. So no flinch pops out here. We're gonna be able to finish you off. Um, and now I could just bring out Incineroar. Actually, did I even bring Incineroar? I don't think I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. So I could go in Incineroar here, just fake out and be able to get rid of the uh, the Dragapult and just save the Arch Loot on, which I think it's gonna be our play. But the problem here is that I kind of want to protect our Annihilate, which would be really good. But at the same time, I they're probably choice into Dragon Dart, so they're just just gonna double target. So I kind of just want to Drain Punch and maybe just knock off this Dragapult, get rid of it. I was kind of hoping that Sucker Punch would KO it. But it did not. It did not. If we have pro actually no, we weren't KOing this thing regardless. We're already dark type. I was gonna say if we had pro TM, we probably would have KO'd it, but no, we're already dark type. It didn't matter. But so far so good with this Annihilate, who's actually like its animation is oddly fast. Like, why is it like twitching so much? It's going so fast. He's just ready for a boxing match. Ready to put his fist through somebody. <laughs> like, <laughs> but they're gonna end up going into Sylvia. Not bad. I mean, Clear Body's gonna come out here. Sylveon's showing here. We do attack drop it, but I mean, you're special attacking. I can now go for a knockoff, and I kind of still just want to go for a drain punch just to get back some HP. I mean, we're plus six. It should still do some nice damage. Again, I didn't want to protect because I didn't want to double one down into this Incineroar. That could have gotten real ugly. So, drain punch gonna fly out here first to great damage still. So, good call for me to just stick with drain punch. I'll still get back a nice chunk of HP. Look at that. Look at that HP. Incineroar is outspeeding the Sylveon, which is good news. Dragon Pulse gone. And what are you going to go for? A Hyper Voice? What you got here? Because Annihilate's thriving here. He's thriving. Hyper Voice launches. That's fine. Both my Pokemon outspeed the Sylveon, which is great news. And depending on who they go into, I could just Drain Punch that. Or I can finish off the Sylveon with a Drain Punch. Let's see who you got. It could be Basque Legion. Ooh, Basque Legion could be a little scary. Who could... Who, who you got? You got here. So we still have Arch Loot on. That's great news. They still have Terra, which is bad news. But so far, so good. Yo, Annihilate. Oh, not Annihilate. Primate. But have I been calling it Annihilate this whole battle? I feel like it has. But um, Primate killing it so far. I just don't like its animation. Especially with this Steel Terra on its head. The thing's just moving back and forth right in front of my face. Like, real twitchy. Real fast. Ah. That is terrible. They, they, this, this should not be allowed in the next game. What is it? What's it doing? Jeez, man. Calm down. <laughs> Took a lot of pre-work out, I guess. But now comes Basque Legion. I cannot go for a... I cannot go for a... What's it called here? I have a Electro Shot to kind of deal with that. But I cannot go for a Drain Punch. I am going to go for a Knock Off here. And I am going to go for a Drain Punch just to finish off this Sylveon. And he's going to go for Last Respects, which KOs us. That hurts a little bit. Luckily... I'm able to outspeed, and honestly, this match is going to come down to the wire. This match is really going to come down to the wire. Knockoff's going to fly. How much damage are we doing here? Actually, never mind. It's not going to come down to the wire. Because my boy Incineroar's got my back with knockoff KO. -ing. The knockoff KOs. I think it was Choice Scarf this whole time. Hyper Voice can launch. Say bye-bye to my Incineroar. Now it turns into a 1v1 situation with my Archer Ludon. Now, when it comes to Sylveon... A lot of terror types tend to be fire. Do I rip an electro shot instead of? Do I rip an electro shot instead of a flash can? I think I do. Considering your HP is low enough, I feel like the only way you could survive this is if you trash slice fire, and you don't even trash slice fire. So we could have just flash cannon, but I'm gonna electro shot with the power herb. Just call it game. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, Sylveon. GG's first match, going great. I mean, everything that I want to showcase was in this matchup. 
apply our trick into our own uh, our own primate. I was gonna say annihilate. Get that anger point popping, plus six on attack, and then just like drain punch and stand on the field a long time. Worked out perfectly. We're sitting one and zero. So far, so good. Match number one went perfectly with Anger Point Primate. Now we're looking to win another match. Match number two, going up against an Executor team with Ndidi. So we got to watch out for the size spam. Definitely going to get scary. Definitely going to get terrifying. How do we want to play it? It's going to be tough. I mean, we got two Dark Types with Neoscarada and Incineroar, which could be really good. And I kind of might just want to lead Incineroar just because it's such a good Pokemon here. It really is. So I'm going to end up leading Incineroar. And do I end up leading it with Neoscarada? Could also be good. I mean, Torkoal's looking a little scary. I could end up maybe leading like Nine Tails, but I'd rather bring Nine Tails in the back end just to kind of get weather control. So I'm gonna end up going into go Dragonite here. Loaded Dice Dragonite's not bad. Loaded Dice Scale Shot Dragonite, not too shabby. I mean, you got Hades, you got all the good stuff. But I'm gonna end up going into Miascarada here. Just two very solid Pokemon. You can actually kind of counter. What they got going so i'm gonna end up doing that i'm gonna bring nine tails in the back end and then last but not least dragonite or archaludon i mean they're both great options they really are i mean ursa luna seems like it's gonna be a problem so dragonite would be better than archaludon but archaludon is better than than dragonite up against like all the other pokemon i'm gonna go dragonite i'm gonna go dragonite i feel like we're gonna need to kind of deal with this ursa luna a little bit so Dragonite's going to be the play call. I got to watch out for wide guard as well with Gallade. That's another thing. I got to keep in the back of my head. But 1-0. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at it go. 2-0. See who they end up leading. Because I feel like whenever I play teams like this, it's just kind of like always tough. Like size spam, always tough. They always get it out at the perfect time and they just rip up into you. But Ndidi Ursaluna comes out here. This could just be a protect Ursaluna. We could double down into this Ndidi while they try to set up Trick Room. I feel like that's kind of where they're at, right? I feel like we should just go into Flower Trick Knockoff. And the reason I say Flower Trick Knockoff is because there's a hot chance that, do, that they do end up going into Terrestrialization with, with Ndidi. But we get the big time Intimidate onto Ursula, so I'm cool with just going into, actually maybe just like a U-turn. Now, you know, we're just going to go Knockoff here into Flower Trick. Knockoff Flower Trick into Ndidi. Yep, there's Protect. I feel like it's so easy to read Ursula to Protect. Like, you just know they're protecting half the time. Flower Trick's going to rip up into you. Do about half, probably. Close to half, and hopefully Knockoff should be able to do the rest, right? Stab super effective. Get it on out my face. Get it on out of here. Later, Ndidi. So, no Trick Room. You're minus one, Ursaluna. So far, so good. So far, so good. So, the double dark types doing work. Executor is going to come out here, probably hit that terror button. Um, I am just going to go for a flower trick into Ursuline at this point now. And do I go Flare Blitz instead of knockoff here? I think so. Let's send it. Flare Blitz, flower trick. Honestly, I probably should double down into Ursaluna. I mean, you can't use... You can't use Expanded Force, so I mean, like... <laughs> we are sitting in such a good position. Flower trick launches. Big time damage. Critical hit guaranteed every single time. Flare Blitz gonna launch. Big time damage. Eggs is on one. Are you sashed? Yeah, you are sashed. I was gonna say. One HP bandit or are you just sashed? And Executor might be popping a trick room. Executor is popping a trick room. Alright. I see you. I understand. Your defense is dropped. Um Executor's gonna be able to get off this trick room. We should just double down into that little booger. Little focus ash action saving you. The Trick Room, out and about. Um, I still have Focus Ash on my Meowth which is really good. Really, really good. And Burn is slowly chipping up this Ursulina. Could go in Dragonite. I could go into Ninetales. I'd rather save Ninetales. But uh, I don't know. Kind of tough. Dragonite's not bad here. I'm going to go Dragonite. Alright, so Dragonite's gonna come out here. What's that play here? I can't go for Sucker Punch. I can't go for first and priority moves. Um I could just scale shot you down. That'll give me a speed boost though. Honestly, you should probably just do this. And then just go for a flower trick into this slot. But I still have focus hash, which is really, 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 really good news. Really, really good news. 
I don't think they double down. I really don't I think they double down to Miascarada. So Facade's gonna fly. He's minus one. I took rather well. Expanded Force is gonna fly. That's not a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn. So Dragonite drops. We're gonna be able to take out the Ursaluna. That's good news. And who is our final Pokemon? Is a real question. Is it Torkoal? That can get real ugly if it is Torkoal. If it's Torkoal, they have a hot shot at win this game. Hot shot at win this game. So I'm going to bring out my Ninetales right now. <laughs> and it is going to be Torkoal. That sucks, man. Actually, Trick Room's out. This is actually good. Trick Room's out, so Drought goes first. Drought goes first. Yes. I thought it was the other way around. I forgot Trick Room does, does that too. So we got Snow. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, honestly, how many turns are left in Trick Room? You got Ice. You got Ghost. I got Focus Ash. We got to see how many turns are left in Trick Room. Three. Oh my lord. How many turns are left in Train? Two. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. I got to protect you. Thing is, I don't really want to give up my Dark Typing. I really don't. I got to protect you and just go for a knockoff here. I gotta get rid of your item. I gotta get rid of your item and deal a little bit of damage there. I have to. Oh my lord, dude, this terrain is so annoying. Eruption's going to fly. And I really hope they're going for expanded force. I can't afford to, to give up my dark typing. Show me expanded force. Show it to me. Show me expanded force. Just give me a chance. Energy ball. I even think with terrestrialization, Yasuarada still dies out to that. Tough news from your boy. Real tough news. Let's go for like a triple protect. Might as well, right? Might as well give it a shot. <laughs> we might as well give it a shot. Going for a triple protect here, but yeah. The executor. If we would have doubled down to ex executor that, that second turn. Oh my lord, that would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. But out finally comes your terror type. Just like a rub it in terror type. Are you just going to go fire Torkoal just to nuke me? Sure it looks like it. Yep. This is a rub it in victory kind of kind of Torkoal play. But heck. Hey, we're going for a uh, triple protect to win this game. There's two. There's two. Count them. Two. Two on the board. Two on the board. So we need a lot of RNG to end up winning this game. One, we need the triple protect. We got two so far. Next, we need a nice little blizzard, which is going to land here. But more importantly, we need the freeze on Torkoal. We need the freeze on Torkoal. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, he's pure fire type. Now we're going to protect again. Come on, triple protect. Still going to fight. Give me the triple protect. Let's go, Ninetales. How often have you guys seen a triple protect? I only did it once. I only did a triple protect once. So this would be cool to add it to my, my resume as a two-time triple protect lander. Come on, Ninetales. Don't let me down. I just want to see this. I don't care if we win or lose the match. It's all about the triple protect at this point. No! No! <laughs> we didn't get the triple protect. Everybody, wave bye-bye to Ninetales. It was nice knowing you. Gone forever. Actually, we'll probably use it in the next match. GG to our opponent. We're sitting 1-1. One one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. Looking to go 2-1 and one in our final match, going up against half Rain Team and half Size Spam Team. They got Pelipper, they got Basket Legion, and then on top of that, they got Sneasler, probably to pair up with Ndidi with Psychic Seeds, and then they got Photograph and Hisuian Braviary. So, I definitely am going to need Ninetales. I mean, Weather Control is going to be such a huge play for us. We could end up going into the Primeape combo, but I don't really see it happening here. I just think they have a really good team to kind of counter that. So, I am going to end up leading. I I think Archaluna could be a solid lead for us. I know they have Fake Out. I know they have Sneasler. Actually, Sneasler might be their lead. Mm, that could be ugly. I'm going to go Incineroar here. Incineroar is just a solid lead across the board. So Incineroar are going to come out here. Um, I could go Archaluna and still for the lead. Even if they lead Sneasler, then we could just like hard swap into a different Pokemon. Could be good. Could be good. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're still going to do this. I'll bring Miascarada and then I will bring Ninetales. I like that. I do like that. So let's see who they end up leading. Again, a lot of different options for this team. We're sitting one on one. So far, so good in today's video. I mean, last match kind of came down to the wire. 
Kind of, a little bit. I mean, that executor getting off that trick room was just the win condition they needed. And if we would have doubled down into that, we would have won that game. But let's see who they end up going into. For Graf and Didi. So not bad. I mean, we can't fake out, but still a dark type on the field with Archer Ludon. Something I really like. Something I do really like. So they are going to pop trick room. They're pretty much guaranteed to get it off. Um, who do I even attack here, though? It's going to be okay. Psychic Seeds on you instead of Sneasel. All right. I feel you. I understand. Hmm. Definitely want to go into a knockoff. Definitely want to go into a knockoff, but into who? I could double down into Ndidi, because Ndidi could be rather annoying. For graph, probably just trying to set up Trick Room. Maybe not. For graph might just be attacking here. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Both of you guys might just be attacking. I'm going to knock off this Ndidi. I'm going to double down into this Ndidi. Let's say bye-bye to it. He's going to end up going for a Hyper Voice, which does good damage. Electro Shot going to fly. And we're going to say bye-bye to this Ndidi. So we're doubling down. Ndidi is going to be a goner. I kind of wish this was Stamina Archaludon. So we're going to say bye-bye to Ndidi with this combination of moves. I was kind of hoping that one would just KO to knock off with Slide over, over. But this works fine. This works fine. For Graf, kind of seems like he might be popping a Trick Room. Wouldn't be surprised. Or it might just be attacking. Oh, you are choice spec. That's why he did so much damage. I was wondering why indeed he did so much damage there. It's like hyper voice, really? That much damage? I get a stab. But still, that much damage? Okay, choice specs make sense. So I'll end up going into Braviary, and Braviary looks like it wants to just like pop, you know, expanding forces. I might end up seeing a terror type from it, so I kinda wanna switch over to you, but at the same time, I think we're just gonna lean towards knockoff into the Braviary and just protect our boy. Waste out some trick returns. Waste out some Trick Room turns. On top of that, I do think Braviary has a hot chance of having like the Life Orb as item. So just getting rid of that is big for us. And if they are ripping Expanded Forces, I mean, I could just hard swap my Arch Ludon into Miascarada. I have another Dark type on the field. A few options for us. Trick Room. And it's funny, Braviary doesn't look like a, a slow Pokemon. Or his suing Braviary, I should, I should say. Such a dope looking Pokemon. Just like, look at that. That is so cool. I had it on my team for Legend Arceus, and I loved it. But they're going to end up just protecting the bird. Um, we'll see what Frigis wants to do. I'm not sure what Frigis wants to do. And Frigis going for an EQ. EQ on the Frigis? A little wild. A little wild, if you ask me. How much damage is doing to my Incineroar is the real question. Not not much. <laughs> Nothing much. Knockoff's gonna fly into the bird. Um, we are gonna end up switching knockoff because now I think they're pretty much forced to terrestrialize. So I'm gonna switch knockoff into the Frigraph and honestly, being plus one on special attack, we kinda should just stay here on the field. Kinda should just stay here on the field. I get you can go for an expanded force, I really do. But I think just trying to go for a flash gun here. Just dealing as much damage as we can. And we sound trick and terms is definitely our play. And yeah, there's a terror type. What you got going? Go into like fairy. Go into fairy. I would love that because I'm ripping a flash cannon in that slot. It's steel. It's steel. I feel like steel is like one of the best terror types defensively. Should have went for a roar spear instead. EQ's going to launch. You're actually going to deal some damage to your bird now. You deal some damage to your bird. What you got cooking here? Oh, you got weakness policy? That's what you got. That's what you got. Makes a lot of sense now. Makes a ton of sense. And he's gonna go for Heat Wave. Incineroar, soak this. You don't. Heat Wave, really? Really? Alright. It is what it is. So now Braviary is showing here in Trick Room, in Psychic Terrain, with weakness policy. Oh, man. That's ugly. That's real ugly. We gotta see how many turns are left in the, in the, in the room full of tricks. That might just end up double protecting here. I think it's two. I really do think it's two. But there might be one turn left in terrain, which could actually benefit us a ton. Especially with, like, Sucker Punch. What we got here? Trick Room, two turns. Psychic Terrain, two. Oh, man. Two and two. Two and two. Two and two. He does have Heat Wave. I'm going to rip a Blizzard, and I'm going to rip a Flower Trick. 
I don't want to deal as much damage as I can to that. Or I can just knock off pretty much KOU. I got Focus Ash. The thing is, like, Heat Wave does some damage. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to go Terror Type knock off. Heat Wave does some damage. Oh, man. Heat Wave's going to KO us. Heat Wave's gonna KO us. I was hoping Instant Roar could have survived one more turn. I mean, Heat Wave KO and that kind of hurts. Especially with the Assault Vest, too. Or Instant Roar did have Assault Vest. I'm gonna end up protecting Nine Tails. They definitely want to rip a Heat Wave. We already know that. We already know they want to rip a Heat Wave. EQ's gonna launch. She's gonna take off my Focus Ash, which is the ugliest part of this. This whole situation. I feel like we kind of have to go for a double protect here. Can you dodge this Heat Wave, Miascarada? I love you forever if you get out just heat wave. Nope. You do soak it though. Which is big time news. You do end up soaking that. You do some decent damage across the board. And I get a crit on that too. And I think our best bet is, or best play is just to go for a double protect. I really do. I honestly do. I mean we're definitely gonna protect you, but going for a double protect here. Gotta be the play. You landed it last match, which is good. And you're not gonna land it here. Now that pretty much wraps it up, because Miyashirata has no double hitting moves. Unless you could dodge a Heat Wave. There is a chance you dodge a Heat Wave. There's a hot chance you dodge a Heat Wave. Endeavor. Why oh, you got Endeavor? Dodge Heat Wave. Expand it for a smart call. Smart call to switch over. Real smart call to switch over. Bye bye, Ninetales. That's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. So Psy Spam doing us dirty in today's video. We ended up going one and two, but showcased the primate combo really well in match number one. But yeah, dude, side spam, trick room, just going crazy today against me. But I'm not going to go out without a fight. I'm kind of going to hope that this sucker punch can KO. Actually, I mean, we outspeed. We can just go for a knockoff, knockoff would actually do less damage. But I'm going to go for sucker punch here. If you protect Brave, you are going to be so upset. You're not even moving. What are you, what are you doing here? Oh my god. I, I, yeah, I deserve to lose this match. I definitely deserve to lose this match. GG's to our opponent here. We went for sucker punch. Totally forgetting about armor tail, but we were dead regardless. We were dead regardless. GG to our opponent. We go one and two for today's video. So guys, not bad for today's video. We went one and two, grabbed ourselves a losing record, but still got to showcase the power of Primate in match number one. I definitely feel like we probably should have brought Primate in match number two or match number three just because it has taunt. And we could have taunted the trick room users and maybe grab ourselves another win, but it is what it is. Primate still got the showcase today. I feel like we had a great video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.